Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Devil of Park. I'm your host, JJ Grace. We'll be watching races for Wednesday, November the 2nd. We had eight races today, and our feature race was the uh, sixth race. It was an allowance test, and it was a good one. The main track was fast here. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. The temps were in the 60s. The winds are from the north about 10 miles per hour, and Josh Brown is our track announcer. Let's take a look at the first half, the early daily double. That's Philly Mayor style, made 25,000. Here's the first. Away and running. Crone was slow to go, smooth as silk was Epic Queen, and Queen of Mine. Those are the first two on settling down, and nothing makes sense in mid-pack in that third place position. Seeking arrangement, one of the fancier rivals on the betting board is right there in a position to challenge, and as a matter of fact, Seeking Arrangement's going to take the lead as that half mall pole approaches. Rob's Dream stays protected at the rail, and Crone is getting on track at the back of the pack. So Epic Queen now battles Seeking Arrangement as the pace picks up as they point towards the three for long peg and Rob's dream continues to ride that rail in between rivals is queen of mine with no excuses today Quoten is getting a pop of the crop to stay with the speed and nothing makes sense is out the back the quarter pole looms for epic queen who now takes the lead away from seeking arrangement as heads turn for home in the first of the day epic queen now slipping away from the opposition with three sixteenths to go seeking arrangement made a bold bid for the lead and tries the battle back queen of of mine stays at the fence but just at this one pace an epic queen at two to one has padded a winning break sinking arrangement is in second and the favorites on the exact to finish one two on the box epic queen has won it over seeking epic queen wins the opener give pat Caburney his first here give maddie Rowland her fifth 683 42 20 on the winner seeking arrangement 262 10 queen of mine 220 and a four was fourth 10 10 on your exact and 905 on your try $5.98 on your super. Second half, the early daily double, two-year-old Phillies optional claim in 50, one mile and 70 yards. Here's Josh. Away and running. Great speed on the outside from Classy Nancy, but Beautiful and Bold will keep her honest, and those two ladies score off early in the opening first half of Furlong. Up the inside is Fabulous Candy, headed by Santangelo. Four deep on the track is Quantico Creek, and one path off the rail is Majesty's Freedom as they leave the first turn behind. So it's a nice and soft gallop set by Beautiful and Bold today and shows the way by a length and a quarter. Classy Nancy is right there keeping tabs on that speed in second and riding the fence is Fabulous Candy as they point towards the five and a half. Quantico Creek now passes that rival as they race down the back of the track and there's quite a gap of four lengths now to majesty's freedom who stays a ground saving fifth and last of all is santangelo so no pace on here for beautiful and bold five to two when everything is said and done and continues a lead by a length and a quarter classy nancy is right there applying that moderate pace pressure in second and fabulous candy continues to ride that rail and getting closer to Quantico creaks in for the fight, but gets a loose rein to stay with the speed. Nothing for Majesty's Freedom, and Santangelo is tailed off at the 5 16th. Beautiful and Bold has not been pressed yet. Classy Nancy is right there trying to squeeze past the leader, and Fabulous Candy rides that rail. Quantico Creek four deep as they turn for home. Four chances at the 3 16th will Beautiful and Bold leads, but Push is coming to shove, and the rail is open for Fabulous Candy now, and Fabulous Candy hits the front. Classy Nancy tries the battle. Same with Beautiful and Bold, but sitting off the pace at three to two. Fabulous Candy was second to none over Beautiful and Bold. Fabulous Candy gets the railroad job. Cincy Mosey, John Harado to return five dollars to eighty-two ten. Beautiful and Bold three dollars to ten, and Classy Nancy was third. The exact of five seventy to try five ninety-five. The daily double seven dollars and ten cents. And let's go to the third race, which is maiden two-year-old Phillies claiming 25,000, one mile and 70 yards. Two-year-olds are on their way. Line. Away and running. 
Good speed in the center for Itsy Bitsy Izzy, but that was short-lived as Ice Storming crosses in front of the face of the field. And one clear moment is right there, too, with Louise Brooks. Up the inside, Itsy Bitsy Izzy was beat for speed early on. Lena has spec shoes has one beaten, and X Tessa goes five wide at the seven for long pole. So J.D. Acosta sends Ice Storming on a mission today, and she has cleared off the lead by seven. Itsy Bitsy Izzy takes up the chase, a patiently ridden second, and Louise Brooks keeps her company in the two path on the outside. Deeper than that is X Tessa to grab that fourth position away. One clear moments in between rivals, and Lena has spec shoes is at the rail at the back of the pack. Five furlongs to go, Ice Storming already coming back to the field, and the lead is three as JD slows down the pace. Itsy Bitsy as he is right there, getting closer in second, and so is Louise Brooks on the far outside. Lena has spec shoes, chases those top three up front in front of X Tessa and one clear moment rides the rail with three furlongs to go. So Ice Storming's 20-1 to one and trying to stick the trip. Itsy Bitsy Itsy comes under a ride. Louise Brooks has no excuses from there and Lena has spec shoes is coming alive and keeping the eye on Lena has spec shoes and Angel Arroyo sends this one to the top. Ice Storming has no more to give. Itsy Bitsy Itsy tries to re-rally and Louise Brooks on the far outside but they turn for home and Lena has spec shoes shoes has an unassailable lead. Itsy Bitsy Izzy clearly in second and holding on to third is Louise Brooks. One clear moment battles with that one along with Ice Storming but it was a headsy ride by Angel and Lena has spec shoes has won it. Itsy Bitsy Izzy was second. have spec shoes gives Lynn Ashby her race. Arroyo gets his 12th. She breaks her maiden. Finishing that second was Itsy Bitsy Eddie, 723 62 4 you on the winner. Itsy Bitsy Lizzie, 322 20 one clear moment, 340, and the five was fourth. 870 on your exact, and 1930 on your try, 760 on your daily double, $23 on your pick three, and 10 cents super is worth $5.74. The fourth race, claiming five, going five and a half furlongs. Here's Josh. Away and running. Great speed from Great Gogo -Go today. Instigated going to keep him company in the opening half for long. And Shawnee P lurks behind the both of them. San Antone is in that third place position now. And Farley's been downgraded to fifth. Futal's in front of one. And Linda's the key is last of all. But Great Gogo -Go has put the pedal to the metal in this five and a half for long dash. And has opened up a six length lead. San Antone takes up the chase in second. And Instigated stays parked at that rail. Shawnee P slowly gets gets closer to the trio of speed and Farley needs to pick it up from fifth. Futile will pass that rival and Linda's Naki is at the tail. Great Gogo -Go is speed on display trying to stick and stay in the final 400 yards. San Antone is game to take up the chase and so is instigated as they turn in. Great Gogo -Go is a leg weary leader and instigated is ready to pounce when it counts inside the final furlong and instigated comes catapulting to the front at six to five. Great Gogo -Go has no more to give. Instigated for him off the pace to win. To be instigated when the fourth race in command for Mena gets his 34th. 463.2260. Great Gogo, -Go, 646 dollars. Feudal, 360. And the seven was fourth. 1470 on the exact. 2590 on your try. Your daily double a pair of ones, 1260. Your pick three, 12 dollars and 45 cents. Your pick for $60.35 and your 10 cent super, $11.20. That'll bring us up to the fifth race, claiming 12.5, going one mile. Here goes the fifth. Away and running to a picture perfect start. Lifespan popped on top. I am that I am is showing some pace, and so is a king as always king. And the pace is keen early on. So they settle around the first turn, and a king as always king draws first blood around the turn and leads by a length and a quarter. Here comes a huge move on the outside from Illustrious, who's very rank in the early mix, and now takes the outright lead and kicks for the money at the three-quarter mile pole. And Illustrious throwing that head all about in that 
first opening two furlongs. I am that I am as a settled third and war cross to the outside with no excuses in fourth. Behind a trio of early speed is lifespan. Bronco Maria also a little rank leaving the first turn behind. And Jack gave backs at the back of the pack. They just passed the four and a half and illustrious now is given its head and shows the way by a length and a half at odds of three to five. And a king is always king as right there getting closer to the speed in second. I am that I am comes under a ride. Lifespan is starting to pick him off one by one. Bronco Maria is also on the same page. War Cross calls it a day. And Jack gave back is at the back of the pack. The quarter pole looms. And Illustrious still continues to call the shots. The lead is one. On the inside, Lifespan is trying to get closer in second. So is a king is always king. I am that I am is wide and they're into the stretch. Illustrious continues to lead but is under massive attack. And Lifespan comes calling for the lead. And Lifespan takes takes the lead. Bronco Maria is late on the scene. The king is always king has no more to give at the 16th pole. Lifespan is still leading and Lifespan is 10 to 1 over Bronco Maria. Lifespan goes off at 10 to 1 and wins in hand for uh, Ramirez and the heat will return 23 $45. Bronco Maria seven sixty four sixty. 60 I am that I am 440 the eight was fourth, sixty-nine ninety on your exact, one hundred and thirty dollars and a nickel on your try, thirty-four fifty on your daily double, your pick three sixty-four dollars and eighty-five cents, ten cent super, forty-seven dollars and sixty cents, six race optional claiming seventy-five going one mile in the sixteenth. Here's your start. Away and running. Good speed one from the inside for Zabra Cadabra. A matter of time is also right there to inherit the leading role. And anti gravity adding fuel to the early fire. Golden Brown is caught wide at the 15th, 16th pole, and King Kumbale trails at the back of the pack. Around the tree line, shadows of the first turn run. A matter of time comes away with the lead and is nice and relaxed too. Shows the way by a measured length. Golden Brown right there starting to get a little bit closer in this paceless affair. And Zabra Cadaver, who broke on top, is wrangled back to be in third, a length and a half off the leader. Anti gravity loops up on the outside to take that third spot away. And last of all is King Kumbale. Five furlongs to go and a matter of time from the outside barrier crossed in front of everyone to work towards the inside and shows the way three quarters of a length. Golden Brown is on hold in that second place position and anti-gravity is three paths deep at the four furlong peg. Sabra Cadaver continues a sweet rail skimming trip and now grabs third and King Kumbale continues the trail at the back of the pack with three furlongs to go. A matter of time continues to show the way. The lead's still a length. Golden Brown has all of his chips in the pot. Sabra Cadaver needs to pick up velocity. King Kumbale has picked off one, and that's anti-gravity as this field arrives at the top of the stretch. A matter of time now is unleashed for everything he has and is now kicked away with a 40. Up the inside, King Kumbale will try to complete the exacta, and Golden Brown flattened out when it mattered the most, but 3-1 to one with the leading jockey up. A matter of time has crushed the opposition today over a matter of time made it really look easy today went in the sixth race under rodriguez gets his 131st 84380 king cumberlake seven dollars and 340 golden brown was sir 210 you're exactly 2510 your try 3675 your daily double 79 dollars your pick three 6570 and let's go to the seventh race, optional claim of 15, going six furlongs. Here's your seventh race. Away and running. Good speed for its sizzling time towards the inside. Penetrator is also showing off that early speed, and so is Swing West in between rivals. Poulter is right there, too. And Band on Tour stacks him up five across the track in the early mix as they settle down. So up the inside, Penetrator raises the stakes to its sizzling time, and my man Vito came away in third. Swing West is a ground saving fourth, and Poulter is on the chase in fifth. Band on Tour is a wide sixth. Up the inside, Kate's 
golden dude is in front of trust your instinct and last of all is sing lingo with only three furlongs left to go it's sizzling time continues to lead the charge penetrator is right there at that rail Poulterer's off the fence in third and in fourth position is swing west as they pass the quarter pole it's sizzling time is in hand and in command and has kicked away at the top of the stretch penetrator continues to hold on to second a late kick on the far outside from kate's golden dude along with trust your instinct but it's over up top it's sizzling time never took a deep breath today it's sizzling time has won it over trust your instinct penetrator. it's sizzling time jock won it as easy as he wanted to do it without any problem it's a good run today 824 2360 trust your instinct 166980 predator Four dollars and the three was fourth. Fifty dollars ninety cents on your exact and one twenty three fifteen on your try. Twenty three even on your daily double. One thirty six forty five on your pick three, and your pick five one thousand nine hundred forty three dollars and a dime, and your ten super one hundred twelve dollars and seventy cents. That'll bring us up to the finale, which is a maiden fifty going six furlongs. Here's Josh, and here's your last. Away and running. A bit of a bobble at the start for John Jay. Good speed today from the long shot pressing concern. Agent Mulgannon is also sent for some early speed and bold medication. Already got a pop of the crop soon coming out of the gate and gets another one too. John Jay now picks off rivals to head that one. And in between those two is practical sense. And Joe Brains is out the back. So pressing concern leads the charge in the last of the day and shows the way by almost four. Agent Mulgannon is a patiently ridden second. And John Jay rides that rail. Practical Sense is also right there and Bold Medication has been really sent hard in that fifth place spot and Joe Brains is still last of all with a quarter of a mile to go at 21 to 1. Pressing Concern has a big target on its back as they turn to the top of the stretch. Practical Sense is now starting to close in and close in a great big way and the rail belongs to John Jay. Pressing Concern is a leg weary leader and Practical Sense comes calling for the lead and John Jay is poised to take that rival on. A 16th to go. Practical Sense still holding. John Jay still chasing. Practical Sense has won it. Over Practical Sense won when the wire came in time or else he would have been second. He returns $4, 260 210 John Jay, tough beat, 362 4 Bold medication, 220 to 4 was fourth. 670 on your exact $6 on your try. 690 on your daily double. $20.55 on your pick three. Your pick four was worth $318.45. Your 10 cent super was worth $3.16. Let's take a look at the leaderboard here at Delaware Park. Um, Jamie gets one, Sanchez gets two, Mena gets two, Geraldo gets one, and Arroyo gets one. And the leading trainers here at Delaware Park, nothing really much changed today. Michael Stidham gets one and Chelsea Mosey gets one. That was a look at the races today from uh, Wednesday here at Delaware Park. Uh, $1,258,475. Program note for you, remember, on Friday and Saturday, our post time will be 12.15. It's Breeders' Cup Day, so come on out and enjoy yourself. I'm your host, JJ Grace, with the crew here at Delaware Park. Good night and good racing. Always find yourself in the winner circle.